I challenged myself to beat every boss in the Elden Ring DLC, but I'm gonna do it as Zuko from The Last Airbender. The rules are simple. No summons or spirit ashes. I'm only allowed to use ashes of war and spells that resemble firebending. I can only use scimitar-liked curved swords like the ones Zuko uses in the show. I can only equip armor that looks like something Zuko would wear. And the final rule. In the last challenge we had lightning redirection. Since Zuko couldn't lightning bend in the show but could redirect lightning back at the caster, I was only allowed to use lightning on enemies that also use some sort of lightning themselves. This time it'll be the same but with a twist. Lightning redirection is only a rule until Zuko faces his inner conflict and defeats the Fire Lord. In other words, Mesmer. After that I can use all the lightning I want because fuck you I'm doing a challenge run of the hardest content FromSoft has ever put out, I need a ranged ability. My goal is to defeat every Remembrance boss in the DLC and also Bale. And mark them off this awesome bingo card that I made. Let the challenge begin. I have condemned myself to a terrible fate. I decided I'm gonna do a second part of the Zuko video and this time we're doing the DLC. Fuck the DLC. I beat the DLC on my other character like a week ago. God damn, that shit was hard. I cheesed where I could cheese. I used summons. I used spirit ashes. I used the fingerprint shield. I used bleeds. I used scarlet rot. I used everything. And Radon was still hell. Nothing short of hell. And now we're doing this shit as Zuko. Uh, this character is so weak. Oh boy, it's not a good idea to do a challenge run, is it? Yep, this will be fun. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run around and collect the shadow tree fragments. Hey. If I beat this challenge as Zuko, I am going to talk so much shit to everyone who has ever existed. You have no idea how much that would boost my ego. Lightweight fast roll build. Typically the choice of high skilled players. So why the fuck am I playing this? I don't know. Oh no! Hot man! Have you... Skadu Shadow? No. What kind of pot man doesn't have a Skadu Shadow? Bruh. Stop! Stop! You are... Being red, she, her sister's corpse was riding her. Firebend, 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 firebend. Well, that damage is shit, even though I can stagger lock him. Ancient dragon man? More like ancient dragon. These nuts! I really wish I could take your sword, mate. That ass of war is so convenient. So I ran into the dragon man again, fought him for a bit, died a couple of times, and when I finally did manage to get past him, I was able to start exploring some more and get more shadow tree fragments. <coughs> so now we fight dog. Oh boy, oh boy, here we go. Why are you holding your face? It's not my fault you got a disproportionately gigantic head. Okay, roll it. Phase one, I guess it's not that hard to dodge. My damage is pretty big too. Okay, he does use lightning. Okay, now he's in airbending mode. Ah, oh, I thought I was gonna die. I was so confident that I was gonna dodge that. Fuck, I was so close. I wonder how my lightning damage is on him. Shit. Okay, now he does the breath attack. And then we roll... Yeah, no. I fought... Airbenders. Come on. Why is he all of a sudden taking way less damage? Well... Doesn't matter because we got him. So I just made my way through Rolana Rhodes Castle, and I'm guessing the uh, Pontiff Sullivan fight is gonna be a little bit harder than the dog. So I was struggling with Pontiff Lana Rhodes for a couple of attempts, then I decided to go back to the main game and grab the Flask Talisman and the one that enhances my jump attack. So this should be attempt 32 if I've been counting correctly. A couple of attempts ago I decided to add bleeds to my swords. Obviously Zuko can't shoot blood from his sword, so I can't use the asses of war, but uh, swords that bleed people aren't exactly breaking any rules here. Jump attack! Let's go baby phase two get a couple of bonks in and run for my life Okay Should be good. Come on. This is the one. This is the one This might not be the one just a jump attack and run seems to be the safest way to play this Though I'm clearly not a master of it 
Okay, and slash, nice. That shit one-shots me when it hits. The testicle moons, ow. Ow. Okay. By some miracle I survived that. Oh nice, no, another, another bleed and down. Run -la -na -la -na -na -na. That's true remembrances, baby. We got two bosses off the bingo card. I went exploring around some more and fought a porcupine hippo for some fragments. Once that was done, I started farming the fire knights for their armor. Yeah, this is as close to Fire Nation armor as you're gonna get in this game. I think I'll keep the cape though, it looks a lot more royal and fire lordy. So I more or less ended up exploring the entire map except for the parts that I need to fight bosses for and got my shadow tree fragment level up to 16. Zuko then set off on a journey to learn a secret lightning bending technique from an ancient master. Lightning yeet! Seriously, he's a teleporter. Let's go, big damage! Parkour, parkour! Parkour, parkour! Really? My only strat right now is to just run away and lightning eat whenever I have the chance. Until I run out of FP, that is. This is kind of a safe way to fight him, but I'm not doing very much damage. Yeah, that's the technique. Okay, can't sword firebend anymore. Or can I? Okay, perfect. We had just enough for one last fire buff. There we go. There's his lightning bending scroll. Yoink! Did a final bit of exploring, got a couple more items that I needed, and now it's time to go after a depressed ass dragon. <laughs> that was just a sound effect? That was just a sound effect that future me is gonna edit into the video. I did not actually summon the Chris U. Bale guy, there's no summons. <laughs> yep, that attack is pretty undodgeable, I remember that. Yeah, ju sure, just spam that, just spam that, the one that I can't dodge. Third time's the charm, let's go, baby! Shit. Oh, Bale, curse you. Oh, oh. Really? I hate it when this happens when you get stuck in the dragon's balls. Then again, this might be a good spot to aim for the hitbox. Come on, while he's face transitioning. Come on, just barely didn't hit him. What's the fucking point then? What's the point? What's the point of a ranged attack that doesn't have any range? Oh, we got a robust! Come on, beat him up! And I don't have enough stamina to hit him. Okay, take that opportunity to heal and run. He's gonna do the bite, there we go. Yeah, that's, that's fucking great, that's fantastic. I'm not gonna risk anything with this shit. That lightning hand attack though. Yeah, you can do all the explosions you want, it's too late. Curse you, Bale. From where? How am I supposed to see what direction he is attacking me from? Like, there's just shit happening on the screen. I'm looking at one snake, there's another snake. He's making an explosion, but then there's a fire attack, but then he also jumps with his flaming spear and then crashes on the ground with the snakes. But the snakes are also making explosions and there's more of them. And then after that, spears explode from the ground. Hello everybody, my name is Narrator Bop. I'm gonna narrate this now. There's a nice bleed, I'm gonna narrate this because I went silent when I was playing because I was too focused. I was getting down his second phase, uh, his first phase rather quickly, but to say that I was struggling with his second phase would be an understatement the size of the Founding Titan. You are about to see what I mean. Two second phase, I gotta be on full for this shit. Nope. How did he... Why would they give him that ability? Why would they let him dodge? After such a long fucking combo. Now this shit wasn't exactly perfect, but I'm quite proud of it. I actually ended up dodging it pretty well, mostly. Almost there. Come on, where's the fucking bleed? There it is.
Now that we can check Bale and Fire Lord Mesmer off the list, I decided to try my luck fighting Gaius, but after immediately realizing that I don't stand a chance, I went to collect the revered spirit ashes to improve my chances of beating him on horseback. The Romina fight for some reason I always had a pretty easy time doing, I ended up running out of flasks in phase 2 though, and just when she was about to die she did two combos back to back to finish me off, but I still ended up dodging everything, so uh... That's rough, buddy. The reason I did the Romina fight now was so that I can unlock the final area and get the tree fragments there. And now it's time I have another crack at Commander Gaius. Hello? Zuko here. I hate when enemies in games are like enemies in 16-bit games. You know how in those old games, you just take damage by touching the enemy? Gaius is a fucking Goomba. Ah, <sighs> bitch, run. Okay, he's just uh, standing there for some reason. Will this wake him up? Maybe you got something to your nose. Well, I'm out of range. Is he gonna move if I walk up to him? Well, I'll take it. I'll take it. Whatever the fuck happened to confuse him, I'll take it. Not sure which one of us is the real winner though, cause I lost the English or Spanish. He's dead, but I'm gay. Welp, that is the second biggest pain in the ass boss in this game off the list. Okay, something's gonna... Oh shit, you're a skeleton, you're uh... You're one of them, uh, you're one of them, uh... Oh, fuck off. Fuck you. No hits. Cause he's the blue fire man. I don't know if blue fire does fire damage. I'm gonna assume it does fire damage. Unlike the previous playthrough, the lightning spell is the only thing that's useless. Other than the ashes of war, Zuko's not really doing a lot of fire bending this time. He always looks like he's about to swing the way he holds that thing. Come on, sperm man. I guess this is hell. Zuko jumps into hell to fight Azula, who tragically passed away of STDs. And now he's fighting her blue fire bending ass in the afterlife. She turned into a sperm man in the afterlife because she's a hoe. Let's buff up first. I'm gonna try to hit him with the lightning while he comes at me. Yay! Okay, nice. Now he's gonna... Is he gonna split his body? There we go. And... Now the horse, him again, horse, and easy, easy game. Right, he's going into phase two, time to play Just Dance 4 I guess. Jump, jump, there we go, is he gonna do a fourth? Nope. Your blue fire is no match for me, Spur Missoula. Although your little cum steed might. That might be a problem. Ass of War, big damage, nice. Oh, doing the outer attack, nice, 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 nice. That's the hardest one for me. Maybe now I can get him. There. Listen, if I'm gonna fight this boss... I gotta be able to move around, you know, walk backwards. What kind of fucked up design is this where they made the arena fucking really tiny but it looks infinite and you can't see the edges of the map unless you're at the edge. Oh, that is vile. Alright then, she went from mother of fingers to mother of laser shooting black holes. Come on man, where's the repost? There we go, not the best damage but pretty satisfying. That was my last mana flask earlier. Perfect! Just enough. All right, baby, we got Spermazula and the Mother of Fingers off the list. Just a couple more, just a couple more to go before the final fight. Earlier in this playthrough, I explored a spoopy haunted mansion, and a while ago, I explored what looks like a sunken underwater city. <laughs> you killed your own babies, how could you? No, don't rage at me, this was your own doing. There, you're welcome, I ended your suffering. What kind of fuck kill- And you left! Only killed four out of like eight. So he left the other half to- You know what, I'm not gonna kill him. Or actually... 
there. Uh, make sure we separate these two. I don't want to accidentally swing at both of them at once. There. I'll leave one alive to tell the tale of how his father killed he killed his children in rage. The bosses of these places, however, I left for later. But now is later. Here's a boss arena if ever I've seen it. Okay, that took a decent chunk out of his health. But I feel like the lightning might be better because I can shoot him straight in the face. Yup! Ow. Strategic cover. Let me just, uh... What happened to the tree? There was a tree! Where's his face? Come on. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you, it had to be all the way there. Fuck! Dude, how many times is he gonna do that? Oh, fuck. Yeah, I, do I gotta keep an eye on the blood loss. And I was not keeping an eye on the blood loss. Okay, where is he? Fuck you, I'm stuck in the thorns, come on. And now phase three. He hit me with the photosynthesis. There. And... How many? How many swings, dude? Okay, now back up, back up. Yeah, great work. Great fucking work. There we go. Oh boy, here we go. By some miracle, I managed to drag my ass through this DLC and now there's not much left to do. Only the hardest boss FromSoft has ever made. Zuko has defeated dragons, giants, gods, the greatest blade master to ever live and even gods. But now, he faces his ultimate challenge. A gay couple doing incest while one of them is underage or a lolly or something. My loyal blade and champion of the festival. Both your deeds will ever be praised in song. Probably enough time to buff. You're supposed to jump outward for that one, but... Mix Wondrous Fijibija with damage resistance and with block. So now we have the Sekiro Flask, which gives me timed blocks with the sword that block 100% physical. Let's see if we're any better like this. <clears throat> oh shit, it still takes a lot of stamina. So this is not worth it. Why would I time the blocks if I can just time the rolls? This doesn't seem to make it any easier. Not sure why I did that. I try to build with the flame crack tier and the fire scorpion talisman, but it didn't really seem to make much of a difference. So in the end, I decided to run with bleeds again. Zuko is feeling extra confident this time. Okay, actually managed that. Okay, nice phase two. I'm at a point right now where I'm getting him to phase two every try. Time to run like hell. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, I feel like I got that combo down. Boop. Da, da. Da, da. 
Dup. 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 Fuck. Oh, he's gonna do the holy attacks? Okay, bleed. Oh. Three some about to happen, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna have to tank it. Okay, now I gotta run like hell. Okay, managed to not take any damage. Come on. Oh, fuck. I could have had him that time, but no. Womp womp womp. Oh, I got the emote. Great. So I can remember the time I got ricked by a lolly. Maybe I should get Mikola's rune. So apparently I had it this entire time. The flower dropped it. And I didn't even know that I had it. If I did know that I had it, I would have beaten him last time. I know how I'm gonna beat him this time. I have a tactic. I'm gonna make Radon freeze in place. General Radon! English! Or... Spanish! Oh, oh, right, 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 I yeah, for that. Boom! Bam! Oh, bop! Bada bop, boom! Pow! Oh! Okay, now I gotta run. Okay, great, now. Take that shit off. Nope. Yeah, nice, okay. No damage. Oh, fuck you. Why does it have to keep removing the fucking lock? Got him. We got him. This game's easy, man. I don't know. I don't know why people keep complaining. Oh, uh, my voice is shivering. My heart is pounding, and my cock is throbbing. There, we got a little, uh, a little Fire Lord circlet. A little. Oh shit! I look like Julius Caesar. Now this right here is me beating the base game as Zuko. Don't make me come over there and kiss you on the neck. Click it.